So Corona has entered the hard spiked seltzer market. How is it? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a quick uh, initial review of the Corona hard seltzer spiked sparkling water uh, beverage. I found these today and I don't know this is months later that I'm publishing this but I found them at a liquor store it was $17.99 per for a 12 pack and it has zero carbs zero sugars gluten-free 90 calories and 4.5 percent alcohol so this in my opinion it makes it um, you know, par with, with the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzers, which I currently has been the number one spiked seltzer uh, in this house. Um, I was very excited because I think even the Smirnoffs list uh, like a half a gram of carbs or one gram of carbs per can. This had zero. And for low carb keto carnivore people, this is like a gold nugget. Um, and the key is, how do they taste? And I tasted them all tonight. Um, I started with what I thought would be the worst flavor, lemon lime, and it turned out to be pretty damn good. It was probably the second best flavor in the box. And I also, um, there was a cherry, which was the worst flavor in the box, but still better. It was good. It just wasn't as good as, and there was also blackberry lime, I think, which was probably the third best. And the second best was, um, oh God, I can't remember now. I mean, I may have to go to the box, but um, there was a strawberry. I can't remember anymore, but mango was the best. And uh, God, I, I'm, I'm going blank here. But here's the thing. It, it's, I think it's a really good seltzer and I, I may keep it in rotation, but it's just three or four bucks more expensive. Maybe I can find it cheaper somewhere such as at ShopRite um, Liquors in Clinton. I think they have it for, they have the best prices around, but we like it. And the only thing is, and I can say it's on par because of the carbs and, and it's actually all the flavors are, are good. The flavor intensity is a little bit less than the Smirnoff, so you're, you're, you know, someone who doesn't want to get overwhelmed with flavors might like it. I think it's enjoyable. I don't know how I'll feel if I drink a lot of them. I don't think it'll be bad because I believe it's uh, made with um, alcohol from sugar. <laughs> I think that's the same as Smirnoff. Uh, but I never felt bad with, with Smirnoffs. So I think this is a good, a good little uh, addition to the options in the spiked seltzer market. And if you can find them cheap or on sale, I, I recommend them. I, I have nothing bad to say about them, except at this point, price will be a driving factor because we like to save money and spend the least amount of money for whatever our objectives are. So that's it. Uh, if you tried them, let me know in the comments. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And that's it. Have a nice day and I'll see you next video.